This is Zach, and this is Ancient Asheville Now. Today, we're going to talk about Asheville before the Europeans got here. Now, Asheville was an isolated, sacred spot, mostly dominated by the Cherokee and Catawba tribes of this region. Uh, Asheville is built on a sacred site called Land of the Sky. Now, the only way to get into Asheville uh, back in that time was through rivers because um, it was all sealed in by Boatcatcher Mountain and um, the uh, Swannanoa River and the French Broad River. And the only way you can get in is through the rivers. And Boatcatcher Mountain did not have tunnel or had was not blown up to have a land entrance. So the only way they threw Boatcatcher was through the Swannanoa River to get through, or the French Broad River. So it had very, very it was a very isolated uh, place. Um, rivers and creeks connected and separated the tribes. They also, along mountains, delineated uh, sacred sites. Uh, Taki Oste, where they race, is the Cherokee name for the French Broad River, which got its current name from being a broad river in the New France territory in the 1700s. This river was a major transportation corridor for many cultures like the Olmec, the Mayan, the Catawba, the Cherokee, Spain, France, England, and the Americans. And then the railroad came. And that changed everything. The industrialization of this land happened so fast after the railroad uh, got here, it just put in a whole industrialization to the land. But the land was still dominated by Cherokee and Catawba, Aboriginal tribes. Both the Cherokee and the Catawba tribes speak of an ancient war uh, of their Olmec and Mayan ancestors. That ancient war happened right here in Asheville. Um, it was fought a great battle between two tribes of Aboriginals. Downtown Asheville is an ancient battleground. The Cherokees and the Catawba were always at war. After the Great War, the dead were buried here and the tribes vowed never to war here again. The Vance Monument marks the ancient uh, crossroads here, making this a site a safe sacred crossroads. Uh, this ancient crossroad was a neutral hunting territory and it was a sacred site not to be inhabited or tribes did not uh, attack each other. On the west side of the crossroads monument though uh, was a sacred site that the uh, dead are buried from that great war. An ancient Aboriginal graveyard was here. Um, it was here when the Europeans arrived uh, and where the Crest Building is here, um, it went all the way back uh, two city blocks and it uh, was then uh, industrialized and buildings were built over to it. All the way back, uh, it ran to Pritchard Park. Now, Pritchard Park is today even the heart of Asheville. It's where the famous drum circles are. It's where people get tribally connected. It was the heart of this temple complex in ancient times here as well. So, um, this is Zach, and this is Ancient Asheville Now, 
And I'd like to thank you for watching this program and stay tuned for the next episode of Ancient Asheville Now.